How you doing everybody? I am Jay Enterprise here for another unboxing video. Time to unbox another loot crate. Now, this box showed up on my doorstep about a week and a half ago. And honestly, I don't know where it came from. <laughs> and I don't know where it's been because it looks like it's been outside for about six months. I mean, the label, the tracking, the shipping label is all, it's all dried out and it's yellow and I remember there was like kind of a dirt film over it when I first got it and it looks like it's been rained on a few times. I honestly like I don't know how long this has been outside and where it's been because it hasn't been on my doorstep the past six months but it certainly looks like it's been outside for the past six months. So let's see if anything in here is salvageable. Uh, very curious to see what the condition of the contents will be. It's also a different looking loot crate box. It's bigger. Doesn't have the Loot Crate logo all over it. Just has the Loot Crate, or a Loot Crate sticker there. So, um, it's like a bootleg Loot Crate, I don't know. We'll see, let's see. As a dead raccoon corpse falls out. Anyway, there we go, look what we got. I see a poster here, I see a blue poster. This is a Jurassic World, obviously, and it doesn't look too damaged, that was my that was my worry, because like I said, it looked like it had been outside for a long time. It looked like it got rained on, and I was afraid that whatever was in here was just water damage. But here's a poster, and obviously it's a good indication of whether or not the inside contents were affected by water or not. I can tell it really wasn't. Um, not in the best of shape, but hey, it could be worse. So we got a Jurassic World poster, or Fallen Kingdom. Um, it is labeled as a Loot Crate exclusive. There we go. Good old blue. I saw a t-shirt in the box. Right here. There's no, um, no artwork. You know, the past couple of crates I've gotten, there's, there's been artwork, kind of a theme here. So, what if there's like a leftover box they had laying around? Just like, ah, oh, shit, we ran out of actual Loot Crate boxes. We gotta use these generic black ones now. Who knows? Uh, we got a, uh, a Masters of the Universe t-shirt. Very cool. I am a 80s child. So I definitely appreciate He-Man and the impact it had on 80s pop culture. There you have it. The Grayskull logo there on that shield. Not exactly sure what this is exactly. Obviously, the, you know, like the Grayskull logo, it's on a shield. What a helmet with bird feathers and stuff, so I'm not, not entirely sure. All you He-Man and Masters of the Universe fans out there, let me know exactly what this particular, uh, not logo, but just um, what this represents, who this is, or what it's supposed to represent. Obviously, it's uh, something to do with Skeletor and uh, Castle Grayskull, but um, anywho, very neat. He-Man, you see... Uh, Look at the little logo there, right in the uh, back of the collar. Ah, I see a Power Rangers box. Very specifically says, adult collectible, not a toy. Perfect, I'm an adult, or at least my age says that I am, so this is for me. This is a, it's called uh, it's a Power Rangers Dino Megazord. So let's see exactly what this is. Uh, vinyl figure or like a standee something. I can't open it. Apparently. There we go. Hand-eye coordination is a little off tonight. Um, ah, very cool. Actually, yeah. I don't think this is really called the Dino Megazord. This is just commonly known as and referred to as just the Megazord. It's got a sword. That's, uh, I like that. being another uh, very popular show. Now, I said before I am an 80s kid. Technically, I was born in the 80s, but the majority of my childhood memories is from the 90s, and the Power Rangers was a huge part of 90s pop culture. I love the Power Rangers, as did everybody else my age. Mid-90s, you know, 93, 94, 95, Power Rangers was the shit, and it was, Power Rangers was life at the time. And this is really cool, a little nostalgic uh, piece of, 90s, 90s sentimentality. Very cool. The box for it. 
We also have here, looks like some oh, Star Trek coasters. Let me open these. You can never uh, have too many coasters. This is the, the top of the saucer for the original Star Starship Enterprise. And when I say the original, the one that was in the original series from the 60s. I think these are all the same. Yep. So it's four. I got four coasters here. And on the back it says, just, it's got the Star Trek logo. The USS Enterprise NCC-1701, captained by Kirk, of course. And last but not least, loop pin, a sheer loop pin, keeping with the, uh, I guess, not really a He-Man theme, but you know, coincides with the, uh, the Masters of the Universe t-shirt. And there is that. Very cool. It's the Shira logo, I guess, emblem. So I wonder, I wonder, I don't know what this, what this, uh, what, what is this theme? You got 80s, you got 90s, you got 60s with Star Trek, then you got the random blue poster. So, I don't know, but uh, I, I am not disappointed with this one. And thankfully, none of this stuff has been damaged by the weather, or the water, and the elements. So very happy with the contents of this one. Once again, here's the the Shira pin. Uh, the Masters of the Universe Gray Skull T-shirt. The Megazord figure. This is a very cool item, actually. I'm I like this. It's not Dragon Zord, but this is still really cool. The Enterprise coasters. And lastly, Blue. Everyone's favorite raptor. So that is this unboxing video. If you enjoyed it, let me know down below uh, and I'll continue to do them. Uh, I'll continue to subscribe to these uh, loot crates and share my contents with all of you. If you were entertained by this video, which I hope you were, please show your support by liking, sharing, and subscribing.